Hello everyone, today we'll be starting off my uh, beginner Photoshop tutorial. These are just the really simple things in Photoshop for people that maybe just got it or are new to it and have had it for a while and just starting to actually get into it. So basically the first thing you want to do when you're opening Photoshop up is hit file and new and we'll just uh, label this tutorial and this is all of your dimensions and stuff. So here's width, let's just say we want 1920 by 1080 pixels, and this is the standard 1080p for maybe you're making a wallpaper or something. And we'll make it, let's say, transparent. Hit OK on that, and you've got this checkerboard looking square. Now, to get started on a piece, you want to use this first tool over here, actually right here, which is called Paint Bucket Tool. It might look like this for you guys. You just right click on that and hit paint bucket. Uh, go ahead and select a color. Maybe you want, let's just start with white so you can do whatever on it. Got white foreground now, as you can see foreground. And was over here is the layers. To make a new layer, you just hit that little square down here. And it'll make another layer so that when you paint on this layer here, it will not affect this layer. You can, uh, it won't affect this layer because you can just delete this like that and then oh see that's what happens you accidentally uh, paint on the layer below and you do not you actually probably should lock this layer which you want to go down to uh, let's see crap mm. oh whoops it's right here lock lock this layer here so then you cannot edit on this layer at all. So I cannot use brush tool. The layer is locked. There's that. And <clears throat> let's just go through some basic tools. Here's the uh, move tool or select tool. That you can move whatever uh, you want around here. You can move. Let's put, let's put an object on here. Create a new layer. And let's just put a, let's put a, hmm. Let's paint something on here click the move tool you can move that around wherever you want which is very helpful I really and that's the tool I probably utilize the most and here's the brush tool pencil tool color replacement and mixer brush but those are pretty advanced we'll just stick with brush and pencil um you've got the uh, eraser tool that everyone knows and loves make mistakes you just erase this up here uh, I've got paint bucket tool or gradient tool which is right here and you can select your area and it'll make a nice smooth gradient transition like that and you can select if you want a circle or if you want it like this star any kind of stuff like that okay uh, the next is the blur tool smudge tool and sharpen tool these are good for uh, photo effects if you take a photo, smooth out, blush, and that kind of stuff, it's that's pretty uh, advanced. But maybe I'll cover that later. And you've got a text tool here. Put some text on. I uh, can't see that. Let's actually let's type that out and then select a color here. Hit OK. And then you got your little LOL here. Um. Let's also look at the hand tool. Which is basically the same thing as the move tool. but And you've got the zoom tool here also. What you can do to as a shortcut is hit alt. And use your mouse wheel and zoom in and out. Which I use a lot when I'm drawing in Photoshop. Uh, there's also the uh, eyedropper tool. Which if you want to get a specific color that you've got on here. Which is very helpful and you don't have to go through and try and f match the color as the exact as close as you can um you've got the rectangular uh, select tool here you can select just a small area and move that area around uh here you've got a rectangle tool the rounded rectangle tool ellipse polygon line and all that and you kind of see in microsoft paint which are very basic i really don't have that much of a use for it because in my opinion it's kind of ugly when you're doing art pieces uh... here you've got the crop tool where you can crop a specific area uh... and then hit ok 
And we've got this area here. Whoa. Well, messed up here. Alright. Uh, what else should I cover? Got the stamp tool, which is not really that helpful for me. And actually, I think that's about it for this uh, episode, guys. Uh, subscribe, and thanks for watching.